Hi and welcome to Rejuvenating You, DBT. So today I want to talk about the idea of monkey mind. So, how many times do you notice that your mind is just kind of reeling off all these to-do lists you've got to do? Could be listing all your fears, both the ones that actually exist and the ones that don't. Things that people have said to you in the past, or things that have even happened to you in the past. Can even be the mind judging what's going on at the moment. Or your mind creating all those what-ifs in your mind. But the idea is when we have this constant chatter in our head, we're unable to be in the present. We're unable to just slow down and enjoy all what's around us. In addition, when we have this constant narrative in our head, it affects how we feel. Obviously, we, we know how we think affects how we feel. If we constantly think about these what-ifs and what's going on, it's going to make us feel pretty unhappy or anxious, or restless, but having this constant chatter is then bound to have a negative impact on our behaviour. It may impact how we interact with others, or it could make us forget things, or just not enjoy what we're actually doing in that moment. So I wanted to have a little think about the ways that we can calm down this monkey that's apparently in our mind. If you wanted to look more into this actually, um, Zen Buddhism has quite a lot of information on it. Um, But just for now, I just wanted to look at different ways that we can just calm our mind down, just to kind of give us some clarity. So sometimes it might be helpful to actually talk to your mind. Um, You may choose to do out loud or in your head, that's fine, whatever you choose to do. But just actually kind of ask yourself, like, what's actually going on in your head? What are these thoughts? Are they real? Are they not? Like, Why is it so upset? Why is there so much noise in our head? Is there something that we need to do? Perhaps it might be helpful to make a list, just to kind of get it out of our head. Or is it maybe anxious about something? Perhaps it could help if we actually kind of look if these thoughts are real or if they're false. Or if it's something that's going over and on in the past. Ask ourselves, what's the point in holding on to this hurt? Is there anything we can do about it? Is it about putting it to bed? And sometimes... Our thoughts just need to be heard and we're so used to trying to squish them down that we don't even get a chance to actually absorb what's going on, notice how we're feeling. Especially if our mind's constantly talking. How are we even able to understand what we're actually trying to say to ourselves? So taking that moment just to calmly look at what it is. Is it anxious predictions? Are we wondering what's going to happen? Is it us replaying an argument? Is it helpful if we do that? just to be curious about what's actually going on in our mind. Another idea is kind of similar to what I just said, but about looking at writing things down. So this could be that sometimes we can't have that clarity of our mind, but know that once a day for maybe 15 to 20 minutes, you can just allow your mind just to run wild. Just allow this monkey mind just to completely take over, but write down what you're thinking, what you're feeling, and anything that that you're worried about but only do this for the time that you've allotted so don't spend half an hour to an hour just have a regular time each day to worry about things or to allow your monkey mind just to literally run wild and it might be that perhaps as the day goes on there might be things that pop into your head but as they pop just notice it note it and note it down and then when it comes back to it when it comes back to your time that you're allowing your monkey monkey mind to run wild, that you allow it to go into full swing, but don't spend more than the allocated time each day. And when it kind of comes to the end of that session, just allow your mind to recognise what you've been thinking about and just say to yourself, like, my monkey mind time is over and I'll be able to come back to you tomorrow, but just to not to give it that more than what you've allocated the time for that to, to, for today. Another issue with our mind is that our head always attaches meaning to something. And could it be that things just happen just because they do? It's about having that awareness and pausing and just reflect on what actually means what's going on for you. Maybe using the senses to ground you in and instead of your mind coming in, this monkey mind jumping in and judging and critiquing and assigning this meaning to this event just notice what's actually going on 
And the more you catch yourself when your monkey mind is going and start to explore it and to be more curious with it, the more you're going to be able to manage it. And you'll notice maybe when you start judging or critiquing yourself or being quite mean, just thinking, okay, is this my monkey mind? And if it is, just to take that moment to pause and just really reflect on what you're actually thinking. And even going back to the step what we said at the beginning, just being curious to what is actually going on and what's our mind trying to tell us. Another way to calm it is just to recite some sort of mantra. Now, some of my clients use ones when you kind of when you say you're breathing in calm and out anxiety, or it could be just a phrase that you like, or just any sort of thing that helps to ground you in that moment. And it might be that you might prefer to use senses to stimulate you. Um, so it might be that you kind of have a piece of material that you really like to to feel when you're when you're trying to kind of bring yourself back into the moment, or it could be a smell. But generally, try and use things that you're always going to have with you. So a mantra or something along those lines is something quite good. Distraction. Your monkey mind is running a riot in your head, and the way to actually get away with it is to distract it, to play a game. So it could be that you use your senses. So naming five things that you can hear, maybe four things that you can see, three things that you can feel, two things that you can smell, and one thing that you can taste. Just really grounding yourself back into that moment without your monkey mind just running around. And then deep breathing. Breathing is kind of a way that, again, it just grounds your mind into the moment I suppose we can finish with something like that so it's just going to do a deep breathing technique and I want you to breathe in as deeply as you can and place all your attention on your stomach and as you breathe out push your stomach out as far as you can go it might be helpful to place one hand on your stomach and one hand on your chest And breathe in again, really focusing on that stomach and just allowing it to go in completely. And as you breathe out, just completely allow your stomach to completely fill out. And you want to do that a few times, just allowing your lungs to fill in and empty completely. And that is the last way for today to calm your monkey mind. Thanks.